Alright. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button for more vlogs. Woo! So in this video, we're going to be working on the Lexus RX 500 2023 model. We just traded this in. More on that later. But we're going to be installing some JDM window visors directly from Japan. I want to give a quick shout out to Steve over at Japan Tune Parts. He actually helped me sort out these um, JDM window visors. What's different about this RX than the previous gen? I want to have the uh, JDM window visor the same color as well with the dark chrome. So it's not going to be nice when you have that um, that typical shiny chrome. So I had to uh, reach out to Steve over at Japan Tune Parts and he actually helped me out in getting the parts. The window visor is actually dark chrome. So excited to uh, install this bad boy. All right, let's go. Here's the box. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Damn, ooh, look at that. Black chrome, nice. So this is the rear passenger side, stainless steel here material. Ooh, looks so good. And this is the front side. See that dark chrome? Lexus logo. So this is what I'm talking about. Dark window trim. Normally it's chrome. Test fit here. So I'm just trying to fit these clips here into the window trim. There's one there, one here. So it's kind of tricky, but it goes smoothly once you get it. You'll know when the clip is in, when it's flush. So let's test fit the rear. Again, there's a couple clips right here and right there. Let's put it in the front too for a nice test fit. It's kind of tricky putting in the clips. And so that's how it's going to look like. I just want to note that the visors should line up with the end cap, like so. So right now we're gonna be peeling back the adhesive backing, like so. Put it like so here, so when we install it, we can reach over it, and we can just pull out the adhesive backing. It's gonna be cleaning up the surfaces with the alcohol, that we can remove any um, oil, waxes, so we can get a clean, adhesive backing. <laughs> Roll down the windows. So this is what I've meant to pull back the adhesive backing. Simple as pulling it back with a blue painter's tape. So when you're done sticking the visor onto the trim, all you have to do is reach out here and just pull it back. All right, point of no return. So I like installing the visors with the door out. I want to make sure that should be it. There goes nothing, man. Now we can just simply grab on here. Ah. Now I'm putting all the tape out. Just press on it. Looking good. Let's go to the rear. So I'm just gonna clean up the window trim again, just to make sure we have a clean surface. So same procedure as the front. I'm gonna be taping back this adhesive backing onto the visor that we have room to just peel it off. Don't forget these guys as well. That's it guys. So we have JDM window visor installed on the passenger side. Obviously I'll complete the job on the driver's side and I'll show you guys how it looks in the end. Stay tuned bro -ays. So Hey guys, just finished the installation and this is how it looks.
overall, the installation went great. The one thing you guys need to know where these clips are, the clips into the window trim, kind of tricky. Once you get a feel of it, it's gonna be simple. Just have to hook it on very good and make sure you hold down the window visor so it stays put. So overall, I highly recommend getting the KDM window visor. Not only it's a direct fit, but it looks great with the dark matching trim. It goes very well with the car. As you can see, it's like seamless, you know, just getting with the OEM quality parts, it just matches with the existing parts of the car. But that's it for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hee ha! Ow! All right, guys, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. Don't forget guys to make sure you guys hit that like button, take the time to comment, and subscribe.